Can anyone dunk? They ask. Can anyone dunk? I get this question all the time. I'm six feet tall. My reach is this. Can I dunk? I'm like, I'm shorter. I have a shorter reach. I dunk. What? Listen, anyone can dunk. I started not even believing in myself if I could do it. And I did it with very few evidence-based people that have done it from my height to there. The biggest thing holding you back is your limiting beliefs. Every behavior starts with a belief. If you don't believe it deep in your subconscious, you won't act on it. And listen, I'm living proof that you can do it. Before I started, it wasn't even a possibility to me. And then I saw one person do it named Andy Nicholson, who was my height, relatable, so I believed in myself. Since then, I realized that just understanding that I had that belief, and then once he shattered it, I can do anything. Now I'm pushing the limits, and I believe in myself that anything is possible, and you should too. Look, I want this to be your example that anything is possible, because I had zero belief that I could even do it. Not 1%, not 2%, 0%, and now look what I'm doing. Look, I didn't have someone like myself who showed the whole process like I did when, when I started my dunk journey. You have more than enough information, you have me as an example. Now it's up to you to go in your own mind, figure out what's holding you back, and go for it. Stop listening to those limiting beliefs. They stand for lies. I just learned this great acronym from Jim Quick's book, Limitless, which is lie. A limiting idea entertained. When you entertain the idea that it's not possible, you don't act on it. And the other thing is, I've read this so many times, I've heard this on so many podcasts, that a lot of times our, a scarier thought is thinking that we can do anything because then we actually have to act. If you really truly believe you can go dunk, you can get a 40 to 45 to a 50 inch vertical, you have to prove it to yourself that you're gonna work. That's a lot of work and a lot of times we wanna believe it's not possible so we can be lazy. Are you lazy? <laughs> I'm not. So I'm done yelling at you. I want you to do one thing for me. Set the smallest goal right now that you can think of that you don't believe in. Whether it's hanging on the rim, that was my first goal was hanging on the rim. The second I did that I'm like wow, I can hang on the same rim that an NBA player hangs on, and I'm 5'10 and an average athlete, okay? Set a goal like that, because then once you accomplish that one little goal, the momentum will start to build in your favor. But set a goal that you don't think you can achieve right now. If you wanna work with me, I do coaching, but look at my videos, that's all you have to do. Here's an example of some goals you should set for yourself. Touch the rim, touch a 10-foot rim. I know it's a huge goal. If you can do that, grab it, just snap it down. If you can do that, hang on it. Get enough of your hand on it that you can hang on it safely. And then two hands. If you can do that, try to hit your palm, try to hit your wrist, and then start throwing lobs. I promise you, if those are some goals that you can't believe yourself doing right now, if you visualize it, you say to myself, I can't hang on a rim, I can't hang with two hands, whatever it is, try to get those goals, go to the smallest one, because the second you achieve that smallest one, it'll flip a switch in your brain that you believe anything is possible, and you just keep building. Dunk life, baby. Dunk life, baby.